and I think I am like towards the end of like decorating my home for fall and so I'm gonna like let it be right I have a couple more things there is um, some flower arrangements that I want to make like a little centerpiece on my table and I think I want to add some pumpkins that are fabric as well as maybe like a couple of fall gnomes and so I kind of want you guys to tell me in the comments, hey Tammy, hey Lisa, you guys are back. Um, I kind of want you guys to tell me which one of those do you want to see? Do you want to see both of them or would you like like a specific one? Because I like I kind of know like what I want to do. Um, well, I'm going to do both, obviously. I'm going to add some fabric pumpkins, like some bigger, plumper, fabric pumpkins and I'm gonna do like a crazy color like I think teal and the re or like a like a turquoisey color the reason is number one is because I'm gonna use the fabric from some leftover curtains that I have so I'm not gonna buy new I'm just gonna use um some curtains that I've had but I don't like use this anymore so I'm gonna make them from that and I thought that would be interesting to show you guys um, cause I have enough of that fabric for days to make like hundreds of pumpkins. Like I could even put them in the shop. Um, so if you want to see that, let me know. Or if you'd rather see like how to do like a floral arrangement, leave a comment down below and I will show you guys how to change those out like real inexpensively. Okay. So I just, I just cut out some letters on my, my cameo with some, card stock paper that I have here. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I have a lot of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby and Michaels that I'm using today. So you want to see the pumpkins, Lisa and Tammy, you want to see the floral arrangement. We can do both. I also thought about making some gnomes. Um, you guys know like the little bearded men, like they're so popular and like kind of giving them themes. Um, maybe something like that. So, maybe you want to see the gnomes, pumpkins. I definitely think I'm going to do the fabric pumpkins. Like, I just think that that's going to be super fun, super easy. And then, of course, um, I got to do a floral arrangement for my table. So, maybe we'll stick with those two things. And then I can just show you the gnomes I make. I don't know. But, okay, so let's get with today's craft. So, I have my front foyer. And, hey, Sherry, how are you? Hey, Susan. You guys, if you want to sprinkle the video... Um, you can be entered in. I have extras of today's craft. And so if, um, I'll pick a winner to get this and then you guys can do whatever you want with it. Um, but I thought it would be fun to make a, um, cute little like pendant banner on my front foyer door. I have some like wooden beads just kind of like draped and dangled, but it would, I like layers. I like to layer things when I'm decorating. And so I thought it would be fun for those who sprinkle, I will send you this. 
but you can copy mine or you can totally change it up and make your own. We could make a banner that says fall. Now, I originally wanted to do hello fall, right? Like hello, but I already have something over there that says welcome. And so there's no need to be like redundant and be like, hello, welcome, you know, with all the things. But the word fall could be cute and kind of drape with like the wooden beads there. It might be too much, which means I could move it around. I have a couple other places I could put it with the coffee bar or you can drape it from like a hutch you know, something like that to give it a little extra something in your home just to kind of like cheer it up, make it fun for fall. So all my sprinklers, um, I'm gonna, cause I had two videos today. So I'll go back and look at all the sprinkles. I know Lisa, you sprinkled a lot already today. So thank you so much for doing that. And um, so every time you sprinkle it, we will put you in a drawing and I'm going to, send out four of these little pendants so you can duplicate the craft that I'm gonna make today. And it's free, I will just send it to you. Okay, so um, what I was thinking was I would do that with the word fall. I got these little bad boys. These are wooden pendant pendants, I guess you would say. Um, they were from Michaels. They were in the clearance section. They were like 50 cents or something, I wanna say. Um, I bought eight. They had some left over, but it was over a week ago. So I don't even know if you can get these anymore. I tried to look for something comparable online and guys, I could not find these. So, um, if you want to make this, you can find some similar shape, but not this. I didn't see this shape. How cute would this be too? You could do a Thanksgiving theme and make these look like different pie. I just got that idea. That would be really cute. But I'll still go ahead and we'll do a giveaway. So um, what I was thinking is I wanted to kind of keep it subtle tones. I didn't want to do the bright orangey tones for this. I wanted to keep it more simple. Um, so I had the idea of, so I, for, I also purchased, let me back up a little bit. I also purchased these wooden, oh, let me turn it around. These wooden letters from... I believe these were from Hobby Lobby, and my intent was to make a fall banner that has, and I already pulled out the letters for fall on here, but look, I feel like it's just too small, right? Do you guys agree with me? Do you think this is just, I think this is too small, right? Um, oh, yeah, witch's hat. Hmm. Lisa, you're so clever. Okay. So that's a good idea. I actually have a witch's hat idea, but I didn't want to start Halloween stuff too soon on everybody. Um, because number one, I don't like spooky Halloween. Number two, like I'm not a big Halloween person. I am as far as it is for my kids goes, but I like it to be cute, see Halloween. Like as spooky as I get is the word spooky itself being cute. That's about it. So, I do have a few cutesy, spooky Halloween crafts, but I'm going to save those. We'll wait a couple weeks, <laughs> and um, I'll show you guys those, okay? So, um, but anyway, so yeah, I think this is a little too small. It looks a little college-y. I don't know. I just don't like this. So, I'm going to scrap my little wood letters, but I wanted to show them so you guys can see that I don't always have a plan, and then when I do have a plan... The plan doesn't work, okay? So you gotta modify. Like, don't just scrap it and not craft at all. Like, we're born to create, we're made to create, so let's create. Get out your stuff, right? Okay, so I also have, these are from Hobby Lobby, and I buy up scrap sheets of paper when they're 25 cents, four for a dollar or whatever. I buy like two or three sheets of like, whatever I think is cute, okay? And I always try to stick with some neutrals, and I always try to stick with stuff that I could use in any season. I believe I bought these at the top of spring, right? Like in January, February, this is when I bought these papers. They have that farmhousey vibe to them, um, you know, but they're simple and they're neutral. And so when it comes to decorating, stick with the neutral. Hey Susan, how are you? And then you can add in your fall colors. Like you guys, if you saw like back in some of my similar posts, hey Misty, hey Lynn. Um, you saw in my fall, like mantle, or not mantle, my, um, what is that, my big hutch, I did those leafy 
um, plants and then I had a few orange flowers but for the most part it was all greens which is something that you can have year-round and you can recycle those silk flowers into spring you know and, and use them different seasons so that's kind of like the trick or the tip that I have for you um, the whole front room which once I get done with everything I will show you like it's all like mostly greens and whites there's that little pump pop of orange at the front door but everything else in that whole front room it's mostly green whites neutral colors and yes it's like pumpkins and fall like things but it's got a neutral tone going with it and then just here and there you see the little pops of orange like it's not overkill and I think that's like one of the biggest secrets or I don't even know if it's a secret when it comes to decorating so I thought I probably picked two of these I'm gonna pick these two the polka dots that's a black and white polka dot and then this like beige brown rustic wood scrap of paper and then because I had to scrap the wood letters when you guys were first signing on I cut out the word fall in this greeny cotton um, scrapbook paper and so remember that's like sticking with that whole theme the greens and the whites right so um, let's see I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off and I just cut um, the word fall f-a-l-l -L, and I use just so you know if you're on there I downloaded a font it's called freshman font okay um, so anybody can get that font I actually got it off the internet defont.com and you can load it into your fonts library on your actual computer so when you open up your software it should pop be there and so all you have to do is hit the letter button depending on which program you're in it's pretty much the same um, however you access you know your fonts when you're gonna type a word in your screen and then you just go ahead and you type it out and you select that font and so just to give you guys an idea like this freshman font I wasn't really thinking I would use but I kind of just wanted something that was like bold and like definite but not that Georgia New Time, Times New Roman font like I want something a little extra from that and so that's why I picked this freshman font this font I use so if you know me I do a lot of the decals for um, some sports teams like for some of their equipment a lot of the cheer teams um, like their megaphones this is the like go-to font that they absolutely love and I don't do it for just Winter Haven I do it for a couple so um, this font is like the best font if you don't own it you need to have it because it's not just for sports teams like we're gonna do a fall craft with it and it's I hope gonna come out super cute and it's just a good all-around go-to font and I probably have I don't know a couple hundred or a hundred at least fonts in my library but when I'm looking for a bold blocky but has a little interest font I go to that one okay so there's some fun for you all right let me grab the Mod Podge because I'm on my new side over here. My cabinet is over there behind me. And this is my new wall. You guys see my word crafty like mom word? How cute. Do you guys like my different letters? What do you guys think about my background? Do you guys like it? I really love the brick wall. That was so much fun to put up too. Okay, so I got the Mod Podge. And so how we're going to do this is... I'm gonna need to trace, so I'm gonna do four of these pennants. You know what, I should have grabbed, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna give the other four away in a giveaway, and I'll throw some goodies in there. So if you wanna be in on this giveaway, make sure that you are doing all the things. You're sprinkling, liking, and you're commenting because that helps the algorithm for sharing the video, okay? So let me grab a pen really quick from my little chair here. Sorry, so the only benefit of being on the other side is the cabinet has everything behind me, but now I don't, thanks Abby, thank you for sprinkling. I love that you said it. Yes, let me know in the comments if you sprinkle because sprinkling the way to go okay so I grabbed some twine too all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut two wood papers and two polka dot papers and I am going to um, actually let's see here I'm gonna trace them out and that 
will make it easy. And I'm just gonna flip this around like that and line it right up on there so that I don't waste this paper because it's a super cute paper. So here, I'm gonna show you what I did. See how I did that? These two pendants, I just traced them just like that. Hi, Lynn. Hey, Janice, how are you? I am making a banner, if you're just tuning in, and make sure you sprinkle the video. We're gonna do another giveaway. Um, sprinkling is my favorite. You guys know what that means, sprinkle it. Let me know in the comments that you sprinkle. Helps me find your name back later when I go and look for it, all right? And so what we're gonna do is, I'm tracing these little pendants, they're wooden pendants. I thought they would be cute to spell out the word fall and make a little uh, banner to kind of hang at the front there. And then I think my front area, I'm gonna call it good. Hey, Krista, you finally caught me live. I know you were in my nook of the woods today. You didn't come say hello, but that's okay. I know you're a busy mama. Um, I love you anyways, but I miss you. We need to get together. That would be so much fun. All the things. All right, so I'm just cutting out of my little paper here my pendants, or my little paper shapes, my little triangles, witches hats, right, Lisa? And I'm just doing that. Now, I'm gonna actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut off the top section because I have an idea for that and I really don't want that part. So I will go back and trim it on that one. I just think that this would be cuter. I think I'm gonna paint it. So I pulled out some paint, so we'll see how that looks. So see what I did is I'm cutting out the paper and I'm just matching it up here. And then you see how I have the top section? I don't think I like that. I'm gonna cut that off. You guys think I should leave it? I think I'm gonna cut it. You know, like I'm not even gonna ask. I'm just gonna do it. So let me just fold where that would be. Kinda, yeah. And let's just cut that off. We're gonna make that super simple, okay? All right, so let's just match it up on this one. And now I'm gonna have two polka dots and two wooden ones. And what I'm doing with this is, I'm just making it so I can alternate them because I think that's gonna be the easiest way. Let me go ahead and cut off this excess right there. But I just think that's gonna be the easiest way to put them on and, you know, actually get this banner complete, okay? All right, I'm just gonna cut cross right there. I'm just going to eyeball that one. Hmm. And like, I'm not even, I'm not even going to fuss with that. Okay. And I also, let me see here. I, I grabbed some, um, raffia, that like paper looking ribbon. You guys know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to make some cute little toppers, I think on this, just so you got to know where I'm going with it. So you guys tell me, thanks for sprinkling, Lisa. Make sure you sprinkle. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? You guys tell me, what are you up to today? What's happening? How's life treating you? It's raining, um, again, <laughs> every time I go live, it rains for me, so I don't know what's up with that. But you know what, I don't hate it because it's been so hot that I feel like the rain's gotta cool it down, right? So, you know, how's it been for you? Has it been raining for where you're at? Has it been super hot? Have you not been outside at all? You just, you're like, whatever, you don't care? Like, tell me, how's that life been for you? All right, okay, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to, um, Let's see, I'm gonna put this on here. Get this smoothed out. I have two fall kits that have been added to the website. Um, I'm gonna be adding more. 
We're gonna do some more. So don't worry if you're looking for something specific. And I also added the ability, which I don't think I said this last time. And when I'm putting on this paper, just let me stop really quick. When I'm putting on the paper, I go back with my Mod Podge because I'm not gonna sand it. I'm just like sweeping this glue Mod Podge down just to kind of like make sure it's on that wood good. Okay, and it dries clear. Hey Angie, how are you doing? All right, so um, I'll, this is my second time going live today, guys. If you missed my video earlier, go back and watch it. Um, the sweet people over at Stalls, S-T-A-H-L-S, they sent me a cute little package of goodies. Um, all heat transfer, like vinyl materials, glitter. They sent a flock, their ultra weed, which is like the top. Like, it's going to be my go-to vinyl from here on out for making t-shirts. And I made a super cute t-shirt. And once I finish this, well, I'm going to make dinner. But um, tonight, I'm going to get that file uploaded um, free for you guys so that you can make one too. Because it's an adorable little file. And I was working on some teacher, like, t-shirt designs earlier today. Um, because we have back to school happening next week. And... Um, I like to make some goodies for all my kids' teachers, um, like t-shirts and stuff like that because I know that they can wear them. And so I was trying to like come up with some cute stuff, something that I haven't done before so that I can give it to them. So um, if they're watching, I don't think they are though because um, I just we just met who they were, but I knew who they were anyways from being involved in this school, okay? All right, so let me tell you where I'm at right now. I'm with this um, Mod Podge. I've glued it on with the Mod Podge, the scrapbook paper, and I just cut it down to fit this um, these wooden little pendants, okay? And so that's all I'm gonna do for right now. I have my wood letters cut out. If you sprinkle the video, you can be entered in. I have four more of these guys, so I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm going to send these with maybe some scraps of the same paper that I have, so you can make this same exact banner if you want to, or you guys, you can um, do something completely different. So Lisa and I, we were talking about doing something completely different, which would be totally fine too, But or you can copy and make the same thing. So. I'm gonna do another giveaway. Just make sure you're sprinkling and leave a comment that you sprinkled and tell me, um, you know, what's the weather like or how's life, whatever. You can leave any comment, so um, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so next up, let's see here. I'm going to, I have this Waverly chalk paint in this mossy green color. Hey, Ellen, what's up? And see that green? I'm going to paint my tops because I don't want to leave them bare like that. And I'm going to kind of like smudge it down into my paper. What do you guys think? Like I'm almost going to use the paint as a distressor, but it's a green. Remember, I said in my front room, I'm doing a lot of the green tones, the simple tones for... Um, fall and then I'm adding in that pumpkin-y color here and there like spritz of it right like because I already have some of the orangey pumpkin stuff from past years what colors are you guys decorating with let's see firelight <laughs> yes Abby that's right my husband's at work right now um okay so tell me tell me in the comments what colors are you guys decorating for fall are you going traditional like all orange reds tones you know the yellows or are you kind of doing like the muted tones like what are you doing what colors are you doing i also like teal like in the front like we have in the tv room i got those teal pumpkins from dollar tree and i'm loving that jewel toned teal and that's why i said earlier when i first went live i want to i think make some um, teal pumpkins, right? That are made out of fabric. So you guys want me to show you how to do that? Okay, so this is what I'm doing right here. And it's not like perfectly painted either, okay? I'm just 
dabbing it, dabbing it, getting off the excess, and then I'm just kind of covering that top little wooden part, and it's not even perfectly coated. Does that make sense? Like, I really want it to dry quickly. I like my crafts to be kind of quick. Like, I don't like them taking forever. Um, Cause that just ain't me. All right, so here's the next one. So we got two more to do. Let me put these to the side. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my letters. Oh, I got way too much paint. I'm gonna add my letters and then I'm gonna kinda let you guys tell me how I need to orange and beige, Lisa. Oh, that's so pretty. You know, like a neutral with the, the orange. It's gonna be nice. Hey, Hines, how are you? Oh, hi, haven't seen you in forever. I hope you're doing good and your little family. I'm crafting away here. I feel like a lot of my old co-workers are on here. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> All right, so I've got three down. Now I've got the fourth one to do. And then we're gonna add our lettering. All right, and we're going to put this whole little thing together. So make sure you sprinkle the video. You'll be entered in to win a giveaway. I'm checking to see who sprinkles. Um, and just leave a comment and let me know that you've sprinkled so it helps me find it uh, quicker later, okay? And then we'll pick a winner and we will do, I'll send you guys a cute little package and a little, some goodies from me, from my craft stash. Life is good, Hines. Good, I'm so glad. I'm so happy for you. Life's good here too, even though it's a pandemic. I was actually starting to like reflect a little bit on my year. And other than the pandemic, I have to say, like I can't complain. I'm pretty happy with like everything that we've done and what I've accomplished and you know, life could it is good. So I'm blessed in that and, and I'm happy with that. So I'm glad to hear that's good for you too. Okay guys, so here we go. Here's the four pendants. We're spelling out the word fall. So let me just kind of show you how it's working. So we got polka dot, oh I got paint down there. You know what, it's fine though. I got polka dot wood, polka dot wood, right? So it's kind of muted, right? We do need some pumpkins in here, but I got an idea for that. Let me show you. Um, let's first though, put on our fall letters. Let's do that. And I also want to show you, I have the leaves from the Dollar Tree. I thought originally, let me open up one of these. I thought about originally um, doing it like this, where you guys tell me, I put a leaf on there, kind of like cockeyed, and then a letter on top. But it's a little busy, right? You can't really read the letters. So what I think I'm gonna do is maybe have the leaves kind of in between. And then I'll show you my idea for pumpkins and you guys tell me yay or nay on that. So for right now, let me get out that glue again and we will glue on these um, letters, okay? And we will take a look at where we're at with that. So. I'm just gonna place them on here, just so they kind of pop. And it's totally okay to like glue right on top of them because you want these to lay down. You don't want them creeping up. You know, you don't want it, uh, what do you call it? You don't want it lifting, I guess I should say, off, off your sheet. So let me get the other L. I'm just gonna put some of this on the back just kind of sponging it there and then laying it down into place. And it looks so cute on the polka dot ones. I'll show you guys here in just a second. It looks really cute on the polka dot. So I'm glad that I picked that. This is a really cute um, banner. You could totally say a different word too. You could do, you know, like hello or I don't know, welcome if you want to. You could make it a year round one, but um, we're going fall, so we're doing a fall banner. Okay, so look at that right there. This is what I'm doing. And look, my A was a little too big on here, so I just kind of folded it over where my, my fingers are, right? Just like that, okay? So 
it's fine, right? It's totally fine. I have scissors. If it bothers you, you can like cut it off. Um, which I think I'm just gonna do. <laughs> Why not, right? It's fine. The good thing about this little wood banner is that, you know, once we get this complete, it will preserve really nice, which means you can just use it, you know, year after year. And um, if you change it up, if you change your season, you know, your color scheme, you could totally not worry about like throwing it away or gifting it to somebody because it was so inexpensive, guys. The little wood pieces were a few cents. You know, you already have paint on hand. Like I said, I already buy the scrapbook paper when it's on, like we maybe have a few dollars in this and every year when all the new decor comes out for all the seasons, one of the biggest tricks I can tell you on not to like spend a ton of money on redecorating, but still making your home look cute, trendy and all the things is to do it like I'm doing it. So plus it's fun and it's personal. We're not all buying the same craft. Like we're not all buying the same sign. Like, I don't know about you. I just don't want the same home as everybody else. Okay, so here's our letters. I've kind of got them laid out. Can you guys see that? Let me show you. See that? So it's kind of like where you can read it. Now, from a distance, it's kind of like, hmm, what's that say? You know, like what letter is that? So I have a trick. Let me grab a marker really quick. Let me show you my trick. I just thought of this the other day and I've done it one time before. Um, grab a permanent marker, okay? If you're doing this, grab a permanent marker. Let me, I got another notification. And outline your actual words, okay? Thanks. <laughs> Somebody's telling me about their, <laughs> quit writing me, oh my goodness, I can't see. All right, so outline your actual letters, right? Okay, so now you'll be able to see the letters. And like, I'm not doing this super fancy. You can do it fancy if you want to, but I kind of like the, you know, like, I don't know what that's called. You know, just kind of distressed, but not like, see that? So much better from a distance. You can read this now. And then you don't have to do it thick. I'm kind of doing it thin and thick so that, you know, you see it, you get it, but it's not like overkill. Um, same thing with the letter A here. And I just think that this just adds so much to it. Okay. There we go. There's my A. And then the F. So now we're gonna be able to actually like tell those letters, right? We're gonna be able to really distinguish, okay, that's spelling the word fall. Um, that's just a little trick I learned, especially like if you're painting something, if you can't really make it out, just give it a little highlight, like give it a little trim, right? Now you can see it from far away and you're gonna understand what's going on with it. Hey, Catherine, welcome. We're crafting. We're making a banner for fall. I keep getting some notifications. And we are having a giveaway. So make sure you sprinkle the video and share it so that um, you can be a part of our giveaway that we have going on here. All right. So I have my four little pendants, right? Painted Mod Podge. That was pretty quick. Um, let's see. I have some fabric. Let me show you my fabric. These are from Walmart. I believe they're like $2 um, for a fat quarter, okay? And so these are some cute patterns that they got going on. They have the orange and gray. They have the buffalo check, of course. I have tons and tons and tons of buffalo check. That one is more of like a gray tone. And then they have this cute, um, I'm gonna open this one up and show it to you. And so this is what I want you to tell me. Leave a comment down below if I should do the fabric or no fabric on this one. Because remember, I'm keeping it a little subtle. I, didn't, I wasn't really gonna do any orange. I was gonna stay with the neutral tones and then the little bit of green. But this fabric is almost too cute not to do. And Lisa, this is the colors you were talking about earlier. Hey Dwight, how are you? Um, 
Lisa, this is like the orange and the cream and the whites um, with like a gray painted wood like background. So look at this fabric. You see that? It's got the creamy truck. How cute is this? So what you could do, this is just all you get. Not very much, but it's seasonal, right? Like this would be cute to make pumpkins with. Do you guys think that I should add some of the strips to the banner kind of in between um, our banner or should I just leave it be? What do you think? Because I'm going to start stringing this up on some twine just like this. Love it, Lisa. You've got to go get it. I just got that from Walmart. I forget. I was picking up something. You know I got to browse by <laughs> the uh, craft section. They just put out a ton of florals, too. And I think there's probably more been put out since I've been there. They were putting it out as I went. And I was just like, i got to have this in my life. Okay, so you're saying... You should add the fabric. Everybody else agree? Add the fabric. Angie says add the fabric. I think so. I think we need to add it. So let me go ahead. I'm going to string up my fall word and let you guys kind of just see what I'm working with. I'm doing the twine. And I just bend it so it kind of has a point to it to kind of, you know, because the, this twine, this is that Dollar Tree, tree twine. That's a mouthful. Say that 10 times fast. And it actually, um, it doesn't really hold together real good once you start working with it. But it's just, you know, it's like a good everything string. So, can't not get it. Um, and I have tons of it in my stash over there. Okay, so, let's see. I'm gonna do that, got it all together. I'm gonna make sure I've got this spaced out pretty good. I'm gonna leave a couple inches in between all of my letters so we can add the fabric. You guys were saying, let's add the fabric. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this twine off. So look at this. This is the banner right now. See that? Super cute the way it is, right? This is adorable the way that it is, but we're gonna make it better. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on my hot glue because I feel like we're gonna need that. And then I have these leaves and I can add those kind of like in between all of my little fabrics. So you guys said add it. So let's see. I'm thinking we need to do, well there's see. I have like five spaces where I could totally add it. But I'm thinking I almost need like 10 strips. So I'll probably use up this whole piece. Hopefully I can get more because it's so, I could see this in a fabric pumpkin, Lisa. This would be really cute. I know I keep saying Lisa, but she and I were talking about that just a minute ago. So, okay. So let's go ahead. It's for all of you. Let's go ahead and make some strips here. I'm going to go ahead and cut off that raw edge though, just so it's consistent. Um, with my cuts and then you know how fabric kind of frays on its own over time You guys know what I'm talking about um, So we're gonna have that same thing kind of happen in here, but we're just gonna um, I don't know, One two three four Okay, might end up with a little bit less than I need, but we'll see if I can make it work. I'm gonna roll it back out. Might have to make them a little thinner. All right, so this is cute fabric though. This is adorable and I really love the colors. I bet that um, color scheme is gorgeous in your house. Um, I kind of like it. You make me wanna switch it up, but I've already got the green going on. And so maybe next year we'll break it out. Like I could see doing like a bunch of oranges and whites and then peach tones for fall. That kind of like warms it up too, especially if you decorate early. So, hey Teresa, how are you? Welcome. We're making a fall banner and we're adding some fabric to it. This fabric was like two bucks, not even from Walmart. And I'm just cutting up some strips with these basically cheap pair of scissors. I'm not cutting it straight. It's kind of raggy cut. 
and we're just gonna make some strips out of this and add it to this banner and we're gonna do like that loop kind of thing because that's just the easiest way I know how we could tie it on in a knot we could totally do that hey Larry um, and we could uh, totally you know I don't know we can make it cute we're gonna make it cute right yeah all right so if you sprinkle the video make sure that you um, leave a comment down below tell me you sprinkled it so I can find it later and you'll be entered in to win we're doing a giveaway and I know you guys are on here but you could win it for your wife like they would love it I know they would you know they would all right, so the last of this fabric, I've cut it down all the way. Better get to Walmart and get some more. That's where that fabric came from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold it in half, right? And I'm gonna make a loop with my little finger and I'm just going to loop this fabric through onto the twine and just kind of pull it taut, tight in the knot, right? So it kind of makes two little frills there and let me see I got one two let me make sure I have enough three mm -hmm. I, oh I do I have enough great that worked out good all right so I gotta get more um, of my twine down here though somehow I cut my knot down all right so there we go we're gonna get like that spread this down here and that way I have a little end piece to work with down there okay make sure I have enough you want to make sure you have enough on your ends to kind of hang the thing you don't want to leave it to where I had like nothing down there just a second ago and that would have not been good of course you can just slide it and that would be okay but why not lay it out now if you can right so all right, so we're just making a little loop and then we're just tying this on. There's no sewing to this. We're not, we're not doing that. Like, I love to sew and I can show you guys on the fabric pumpkins, but um, we're not gonna do that. Hey, Susan, how are you? I just saw Dwight on there. I hope you guys are doing good. We're doing good here, crafting away for fall. I hope everybody's healthy and safe getting ready for fall. Like I'm ready for fall because it's the intro to, hey Mary Nell, it's the intro to the holidays. And then the holidays is the end of this year, right? And it can only go up or be better from here. I'm hopeful. So that's good, right? I mean, we've had a pretty good year considering. Um, but anyway, I know that it's hard for some people out there. So I don't, I don't wish that on anybody. I don't wish ill health on anybody. Okay, so I'm adding these little fabrics and let me just show you how I'm doing it, right? I'm pulling it like this and then I'm making the loop here and then I'm just kind of looping it back through itself onto the little um, twine, okay? And this was the kind of suggestion you guys gave me to do and I'm putting one on the right and the left kind of of each one and then I thought it would be cute to kind of go back and add um, a leaf from that Dollar Tree pack. I think I have about five in a pack. What do you guys think? Do you think that would be adorable or maybe not so much? You know, I should have taken a picture of this before so you could see it because I just got an idea to add, oh, I need it down here, to add um, this lace to it. And so I think that's gonna be even cuter. I will show it to you once I get it on there hold on let me get these last three added out of the ten this is so adorable Lisa you're gonna want this it's this gonna match your house <laughs> and I haven't even seen it but according to what you say it's gonna be awesome <laughs> all right so remember sprinkle the video because you can be entered in for the giveaway I'll do a drawing you guys want me to do a drawing maybe I'll go live in the morning real early and we'll do a drawing you can let me know. Okay, so we've got every one except the end down here. And look, I ended up with two left over. Maybe I'll put those in with the batch for the giveaway. Um, try to get you as close as to making this banner, um, like in a little kit, you know? 
So I appreciate y'all sprinkling that. That's awesome. Okay, so the little hints of pumpkin and orange and the creamy truck on this fabric is just adorable. And it's really making this project. So I have this see it, lacy ribbon. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? And let's see, I'm gonna cut like five of these and just not tie them on. Um, Dollar Tree ribbon, if you guys know, it only comes in like nine feet, so you don't get much out of it. Um, that's just the way it is, okay? So I'm just gonna tie some knots on this, and this is becoming like a real shabby chic looking um, banner here. It's not what I really originally intended it to be, but you know what? I'm kind of digging the look of it, so why not? see I think it's cute you guys will let me know I know I'm gonna add some to the ends down here let me get that twine out of the way to the side let's see there we go and one more down here on the ends all right, maybe we don't need the leaves. I think it might be a little too much. What do you think? Hi, Diane. How are you? Hey, Michelle. All right, so. Oh, okay, let me show you. <laughs> it is so cute, you guys. Look at this. What do you think? It just says the word fall. Let me go from left to right here. Look at that. What do we think about this? I'm going to go slow so you can see it. And then let me come in. You can see like the fabric and the ribbon. And this is just using like some stuff I had in my stash. The pennants were wooden. We added some scrapbook paper, a little bit of paint. We cut out some letters. And we have this adorable, let me back it up more, fall little banner. So. How cute is this? This is really cute. Do you love it? Let's see, Catherine, you love it. You think it's so cute. Yay! I'm so glad. Okay, so make sure you guys share the video, all right, because we're going to do a giveaway. I made this out of four of these pendants right here, and I'm going to send one of you these pendants so you can make your own banner. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, just make sure you sprinkle the video. Even after this is over and you're watching the replay, you can sprinkle it and still be entered. I will draw someone tomorrow and pack these up with some of the extra goodies that I had from here. And so you guys can make your own fall banner and put it like on your mantle or if you don't have a fireplace, you can put it on your hutch. You can do like me. I'm gonna put this one on the front door. I'll take a picture of it and put it up for you guys. The lighting is kind of dark in the front there. So maybe in the morning when the sun's coming in, I will actually um, get that picture so you guys can see how it turned out and let me know if you think I need to move it or if it's just too much up there, we'll see. But I really like the way it turned out. It's a little shabby chic style, which my style is farmhouse. Um, but this is in that neighborhood. So I think it's really, really cute. Like I even think I could go a step further and add these leaves, right, like this. But I'm feeling like it's a little much. Like what we've done with just the fabric and the scrap of paper is enough. You could even do, you know, like the raffia little bows in between, like on each letter. But again, I think that's a little much. Um, I think sometimes best less is more and so that's definitely the vibe I'm getting on this one so definitely loving it sprinkle it I will see you guys next time um I'm not sure if I'm going to make it live tomorrow I did two today so I will try to come back tomorrow and gather up the things for the fabric pumpkins because that was a request to make some fabric pumpkins we're going to do I can do two different styles. I can do a no-sew version, and I can get out my sewing machine, um, which I'm not really a sewer, and we can sew some fabric pumpkins together, Or um, and I'm also gonna do some flower arrangements. So we finished a little area um, near off my daughter's bedroom, and so she asked for some pink pumpkins. So we're gonna do a little pink flower arrangement for her, so I can also share that too with you guys. 
and then finish up decorating for fall, all right? So I will see you soon. Have a good night and happy crafting.